Absolutely. Thankfully, nothing tropical, at least organized tropically. We are tapping into the deep tropics in terms of the moisture that is coming in our direction, but we're not talking about a name or anything like that. It's just going to help to fuel some thunderstorms. You see that spin in our atmosphere as we take a look at the water vapor imagery. It's lifting up all of that moisture from the Caribbean, from the southwest Gulf of Mexico, and sending it in this direction, and that's going to help to get more thunderstorms going as that system just kind of meanders in the north Gulf of Mexico. You see some of those thunderstorms and downpours now creeping onto the west coast of Florida. We've just had a few light showers along I-75 earlier this morning. Otherwise, as expected, we've been on the drier side with some sunshine. Eventually, though, with the heating of the day, we're going to get the sea breeze going as well. And we're going to have big time collision with some of those storms coming in from the west and really getting things going widespread through the afternoon. Very nice right now, though. Take advantage of the sunshine while we have it. That's a live look in Daytona Beach with our Daytona Toyota, the Land Kia Skycam. The temperatures hanging around the middle 80s right now. We'll top out around 90. Some of us creeping into the lower 90s right now with a very calm wind. Now here's a look at your pinpoint accurate forecast. Your forecast is sponsored by Del Air Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing and Electrical. Storm chances are really going to ramp up over the next couple of hours, really after 2 o'clock. Then they're going to be at their highest storm coverage. The best opportunity to see a thunderstorm going to be through about dinner time tonight. Optimistic, though, that most of the lightning that is out there is going to start to wind down and push off completely of the coast. By the time high school football gets going tonight, just be mindful of that. The further east you are, closer to I-95 and the beaches, that's going to be your better opportunity for lightning to hang on. So just, again, be mindful of that. If you're going out to any tailgating or hanging out in some, some of the high school football games or the UCF game tonight. 1 o'clock this afternoon, you see it there. The storm's coming in from the west, building through the middle part of your afternoon. There is 3 or 4 o'clock, and this is what I'm talking about here. As we get towards 6, notice the big blow-up of thunderstorms hanging around I-95 and exiting the coast. I think there will still be a few scattered downpours around. The opportunity going to be around south and east of Orlando for some lightning strikes. But by and large, I do think most of the college or the high school football games across central Florida are going to be okay. Might get a little wet at times, but the lightning going to start to wind down. Tomorrow, same kind of deal. We're going to start things off on the dry side, and then we'll start to fire up storms again once you get into the second half of your afternoon. There's 5 to 7 o'clock. Dinner time and beyond will be your best opportunity for those storms. So we were talking about the tropics. There is Earl, Category 2 storm, moving away. Bark worse than his bite. There are three waves highlighted there, but the Atlantic still Thankfully, not that conducive, and a lot of these are going to have trouble, again, thankfully, developing over the next five days. So, again, good news in the short term. Now here's a look at your pinpoint accurate seven-day forecast. If you are heading to the beach over the next few days, be mindful of a very high rip current risk. That is courtesy of Hurricane Earl. Again, it's not coming here, but it's so big and powerful that it is going to create those rip current risks all up and down the East Coast. Storm chances go up to 60% tomorrow and Sunday.